531, I'll call the meeting to order. Um, I think we did introductions last time, so why don't we just go around quickly again just to introduce ourselves in, in case people don't know who's here. Um, Seth uh, Matt Hamlin, uh, Silver School Board. Dennis Messier, Sons of Earth, Rep. Citizen. Dana Rivers, Sons of Earth. Melinda, Dave Hill and some of those city council. Ron Marsh, uh, resident of Southern. Caitlin Hood, Rollinsburg. Ernie Kavanaugh, Rollinsburg School Board. Jen Lentz, Rollinsburg. Richardson, Southern Bird School Board. All right, just to start with housekeeping, uh, I think you've all gotten the minutes uh, by email. Any questions or comments on the minutes? We need it. I'll move that we accept the minutes as presented. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> All right. At the end of the last meeting, uh, the major task that I was asked to do was to find out as for the representation and the makeup of, of a uh, joint board, an SAU board. Uh, and there were there are two things that dictated if if you were to leave everything the same, uh, there was a question as to whether you could adjust the number of seats on that board. And by RSA, the answer to that is no. It's the it's the total boards from both communities that make up that board. So in theory, Rollinsford or Summersworth could through uh, a vote of the public, and, and I assume in Summersworth would be by city council, to either add members to their board or uh, delete members from their boards. But that would not be a, uh, that would be an individual decision. So if Rollinsford wanted to go to three, five, seven, nine, uh, by vote at community, they could do that. And Summers work the same, I assume, through city council. I believe right. probably through city charter. Yeah. Yeah. Through city charter. Yeah, it would be a charter of residence. So it's a higher hurdle. But it, it would be a local decision, and then by RSA, all of those board members would make up the make up the uh, board. So that was the first part. The second part was that if Rollinsford were to withdraw, um, could there be uh, some kind of discussion by contract as to whether that would be no seats, a liaison, some representation, however that might look. Uh, and the attorney's feedback was that if, if Rollinsford were to withdraw and contract the service, that there would be no representation on the board. Uh, I, I asked for a further clarification today. I called the attorney and they did say that, that she felt like there could be some discussion as to a, a liaison, if you will, somebody that would be there as a non-voting member, getting, uh, be allowed to provide some feedback, those types of things. So that would be also as part of the contract if that were to be um, the way you went up. So that's the feedback I got on those two particular items. Excuse me, sorry. Um, is an option 
um, perhaps on voting, but I think feedback uh, inputs to the process and so their decisions um, can be almost as important as having a single vote. Do you know of any instances, Bob, I think Police or River comes to mind for some reason, or, or Dover, where they have, um, oh, like Police or River has Madbury, and I guess Lee, they send stu students to Police or River. Do they, I don't believe they have board membership, but do they have some kind of a liaison? Well, that, that's a little bit different. Um, it, it's kind of much the same as Rollinsford with their students going to Marshwood now. Um, yeah. that, that's a that's a contracted service for tuition purposes only. That's not SAU. Um, I believe that the one that comes to mind is the one that just did Governor Wentworth. Was that Middleton? Uh, yes. Middleton, Middleton pulled out and is contracting their services with Governor Wentworth right now. I don't believe they have any seats or say, they're just contracting the service. I think to clarify, uh, Oyster River and, and uh, Oyster River is comprised of Durham, Madbury, all three of them. They're, 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 one, they're all in the SAU. Right, they're, they're but, more but, they, but they do uh, contract out to other uh, communities. Oh, okay. They're more of yeah. a regional, yeah, regional school district. It's the so term cooperative school right. district. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So there's an Oyster River school board, yeah. it's not the Durham school board. It's the Oyster River yeah. school board. Yeah. Exeter is still a cooperative. Okay. Just to clarify. Oh, yeah. Regional, re just to add further clarification, the, the regional school district is a, is, is a different setup. Uh, if you take Governor Wentworth, they have Six, seven communities, something like that. New, New Durham, Ossipi, Tuftonboro, Effingham, Effingham. Effingham. Uh, and I think the way they've got that set up is each community, because it's a regional, has one seat on the the board. Um, so it's not a like New Durham doesn't have a school board, and Effingham has a school board. It's all one regional school board. So it's a little different setup. Other questions or comments? <clears throat> yeah. um, I think last time we also were wondering sort of what was the feeling in the city council on sort of what we were discussing. Last time, I don't know if you had a chance to discuss with them. Not formally in a meeting, but informally, you know, talking with members. I, I think the idea of uh, you know, some sort of contracted services uh, certainly appealing to them. Um, again, the new information we have tonight is about the representation. Uh, I had shared that there was some discussion at our last meeting about some level of representation on the board, albeit less than five probably. So that's new information tonight. Uh, I don't think that would change the character of that conversation. I think it changes the details of that conversation. Other questions? Where do we go from here? Um, well, that's up to the, that's up to the to this these committees, I should say, uh, as to which direction you want to go. Whether you want to uh, make a a decision to move forward back to your separate committees to have a chance to uh, kind of speak with it. In, in your own committees, or if you want to have a discussion tonight, or if you've got another direction you want to explore. I mean, I think that we've pretty much laid everything on the table as to as to the options. So, uh, you know, it's up to these committees on how you want to proceed. I actually do have a, a question. So we were talking about Rollinsford lowering potentially lowering their number of representatives to shift the percentage. This letter from the, the team says that we could also change, Summersworth could potentially change up, right? So Summersworth could look at going to nine. I don't know what the requirements are to go up, but today it's seven. Is that correct? Nine. No, they have nine. Oh, it is nine. Yes. Okay. So it can't go up. Sorry. I'm not. Five. And again, it's a city charter. We would have to be able to process separate from the city council. Okay. Just ask the question. No, it's a fair Thank question, you. yeah. To just change the balance. 
So I think, you know, as we drive down this road, we've come to a sort of this multi-lane fork in the road, right? So option A to the left is status quo. We, we do nothing different and we continue as this A56 the, the way that it is. Uh, option two is Summersworth withdraws from SAU 56, forms our own SAU. Uh, that would leave Rawlinsford to deal with SAU 56 as it is. Option three is Rawlinsford withdraws from SAU 56. Summersworth maintains SAU 56, and Rawlinsford either contracts with us, contracts with somebody else, does what have you, uh, or option. And I, and I guess part of that, that fork is if Rawlinsford withdraws, they could contract back with us. So I, think, I guess there's three forks in the row. As is, some is with withdraws and Rawlinsford. Well, if Rawlinsford reduced their number of members to three, Well, let's let's lower it to three. So you go to three, and then two years later, or a year later, or three years later, somebody decides, well, let's go to nine. So I mean, that that, that could always be part of a discussion. As we right back to where we're at, you could. So we're not interested in going to three. Yes. <laughs> and what this is saying is that all of your board members, the guys, are part of the SAU board. And clearly, I'm not a resident of Rollinsford, but I think if it was some of um, as a resident, I would be uncomfortable reducing the number of representation um, people have on a board like that. Um, again, that's not my decision to be in Rollinsford, but just that's what's kind of going through my mind of, wow, potentially reducing representation on the school board or on you know, city council or, uh, or some type of board. There was a reason why they went out. But if a contract didn't go, no. So, okay. I mean. Well, you can contract and put anything you want in the future. No. Or easy liaison. I'm enrolled, not a voting Sorry. member. Yeah. yeah. It just happened before you walked in. Yeah. I was just thinking about that. How are um, contracts? It, would the formula be similar for contracts and services, like price wise? Well, again, that's something that's going to have to be agreed on by by both sides. Okay. Uh, you know, you could you could say that the formula stays the same, uh, or you could have some kind of a creation of a of a hybrid. But that's probably the most negotiable part. Yeah, that would be in, that would be in the that would be in the contract. And I would assume that the length of it it would also be in the contract, whether it's a three-year contract, five-year contract, ten-year, whatever you, both sides decided to put in that, that would be contractual as well. Does the state, with the contract, does the state uh, establish the cost? Um, I believe the contract would establish the cost. So if you decided to stay the same formula that you've, you've got now, that's state-driven. So, you know, that would, be, that would be pretty much what you've been used to for forever. Um, so that would be, in my mind, the cleanest way to do it is to stick with that same uh, calculation. Yeah, I think I said the last time that I couldn't, I wouldn't feel comfortable with doing anything other than what the current formula is. That's just my own opinion. I have a question. I mean, I was kind of surprised by what the lawyer said here. I guess I was thinking of the logistics going through this list of, of the other SAUs and the number of towns and and I'm thinking why is this not a problem everywhere where we say that every town they could have three, five, nine school board members and those board members in the district are all part of the SAU board. I mean I can see it just being completely unwieldy and, and so is that 
Doesn't this happen in other places? Uh, it, it, it's it's just the same. Not care about it. It's it's the same everywhere. Uh, when I was up in Conway, they had I think they had 29 members on their joint board because they had seven different seven different school boards that were yeah. under SAU nine. So. At 29, I think the top is, I think it's Exeter with 43 or something like that. Yeah, so they, they, you know, it depends on your boards. The joint board that I had over in uh, SAU 44 in Northwood had 15 members because they had five on each of the three yeah. boards. So it just seems difficult. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, there, there are a lot of different configurations in the state. That's why you see a lot of splitting or splitting and moving and. Yeah, I mean, there's there's been a lot, a lot of <coughs> splits in the last twenty years. Yeah. So is it fair to say? Let's presume like tomorrow night we split back to our res respective boards and work on this. If we don't decide to keep everything the same, Rollinsford has to pull out, or Summersworth has to pull out. We've got these A, B, C, D, E for you folks, and A and B, whatever, for some Is that right? Yeah, if it, doesn't stay, there, yeah. if it doesn't stay the same, somebody has to pull out. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, again, just to come back to the basis on this, um, are we trying to solve a problem that's really not a problem, I guess, in the sense of, I know this is a history way before me that started up, this isn't going to work, we got to split, we got to do all this stuff. But we're still coming back to being limited by what the RSA or the FDA and the RSA said we can do. But do we really care? I mean, can it just stay the same? And who would, who would care if it stayed the same? I mean, if we went around the board, this group here, would we all vote to say keep it the same and then go to your council, you know, go to the town council and say we're going to keep it the same? What are people? I just don't get what the people's concerns are. That's all. You know, but I don't know what problem to solve for. Well, I, I, don't, I think I wouldn't want to answer that for each of the individual members at the, at the table. Okay. And I, I can't speak for the Summersworth City Council as a whole. Again, I've chatted with them about some of the things that, that we've talked about, but I can say going into this process, there was a fair amount of momentum uh, driving uh, the separation. Uh, so I think, uh, notwithstanding, you know, some groundswell of support from this, from the Summersworth as a withdrawal committee to say keep it the same. I think it's going to be some as with with withdrawal. I, 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 I just, agree with it. Okay, without a formal vote. But yeah, what I was going to say was the the feeling I got from the initial motion to create this was anonymity was the direction we were going for. Um, what I can tell you is since our last meeting before our last summers were school meeting, I I was approached and told by you know someone who's reading the minutes, and I've been approached in the past before I was on this board. But specifically before our last meeting, we told that that's the route that they wanted to go. Um, so that's the only things that I've ever really heard of the direction that I've assumed. So that's where I am. Yeah, I can, I can tell you that, I mean, just like Dave, I think city councilors are asking questions and they're giving their opinion. Um, and long before we took our vote to uh, have this committee set up, and again, before I got on the board, because I heard it when I was not on the board, was that when Rollins for his last student leaves, then we need to have a separate, we need to have our own property. So then they don't really want to even contract. <laughs> they're, they don't have a problem with the contract. No, that's they're fine with that. But I mean, there are there are some that there are some that initially we're saying. We want to be totally separate, but when you talk about the contract, and, the, and, and I'm not surprised by the attorney's decision at all. And if there is no representation on the, on the board, then they're fine with that. And some are fine with having uh, a non-voting member on the board. But that's what I've been hearing from counselors. So the counselors are the, the members of the community. Because I feel like 
one person, one mm -hmm. and community, a cell teller to some sort. Like I, I Yeah. I feel a little bit like it's I, I don't know that it's representative of the whole. It sounds like maybe a a few loud voices. But so <laughs> the concern is Jen is that they don't, they it is the city council who will make the decision it is not the public. The public right. has voted for their representatives on the council, right. and the council makes the decision. It's not like Wellensburg, but we have to go to all of our votes. Right. So that's, that's, form the, of di government. that's the difference. The city, the city form of government, government for right. the town. And then, presumably, the city government is laying the dollar eighty-seven per thousand on the tax, right? On the tax cap. Right? The $200,000 sure that goes back into the individual. Because there's no guarantee that Rollinsburg chooses to contract back with so much money. Correct? Well, correct. Right, you would contract with Anyone who's, I mean, yeah, good. anyone we're interested in looking at? Let me just briefly say that, um, you know, I can appreciate what you were saying, uh, even though it is a city council form of government, I can appreciate what you're saying because we back in my early 20s when I was on the school board, two years ago. <laughs> uh, you know, one of the first things I remember learning was that, you know, to two people in a meeting, did they represent the majority, right? Did the loudest represent the majority of the community? Not necessarily, right. perhaps. So I think it's about being, you know, I've, I've learned to be careful with that one. Right. Um, you know, and I think as a resident, I haven't heard anything on the street. I haven't heard anything at the ball field and so forth. But I recognize there are different orbits. When you're on the city council, when you're on the school board, tend to be more in tune, right? You're, 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 you talk with a different set of people oftentimes. Um, when you're not, you tend to tune in and out a bit. Um, that said, I think now that I'm here, um, you know, I can see, you know, recognizing some of the history which is out there um, that I was involved with. Um, but I think right now it's about problem solving and problem solving for the future. Because I, I, I have a sense of where this is, might be going, perhaps. Yeah. Um, and and um, so I'm, I'm interested in knowing what if if the decision was to contract services, you know, what would that look like, including what the days on, if if that's something that Rollinsford is interested. In. If I could, again, I, I guess I'll, I'll, this is a question to you both. Um, I believe that and, and just. I'm going to state something, and then you can correct me if I'm wrong. Sure. Um, that if the decision is to contract, this group will not do the contracting, but it will be between the two boards, the two school boards. It will not be the withdrawal committees. It will just be, oh, we're going to contract. It might be the decision of the withdrawal committees, or, 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 or the Rollinsford, or the, or, well, you guys aren't going to contract with anyone, um, the Rollinsford, but then it would be up to the Rollinsford School Board to move forward with the contracts, not with whichever with whatever school districts they choose to contract with. Withdrawal committees are out, out of it, I think. Yeah, because any contract would have to be approved by the boards. Yeah. So you're right. This this committee would not make that decision. Now remember, any decision yeah. that it's you not make. Not all be involved. Part of getting your work done is that we need to have a couple of community forums, one in each community for each of you, for each committee. Um, so my thought process is wherever you as the two committees end up, those two forums are going to be a really good avenue to A, educate the public and to try to get um, forward kind of your plan, which you, you see is, is the direction to go. Now, with, having said that, um, I think it would be, before we go to the public, certainly before we present plans to the Department of Education, the, the State School Board, uh, and whether it's to the City Council or the, the community of Rollinsburg, uh, I'd like to see us have as much detail in those plans as possible because I think that that's going to help the process along. If we try to present in either community as, you know, we're, we're going to contract this service, but we don't have those details yet, I think that's going to be a bumpy ride. There needs to be a framework or some sort. Yeah, yeah, even if it's not, obviously it's not going to be done until each respective board sees it 
agrees to it, you know, all of that, but um, I think the framework, whatever that may be, would be in place. But mechanically, Bob, if some is worth more to withdraw, SAU 56 is down, we're all listed. Correct. So you are, you and all the staff over there are now employed by the town of Rollins, the town of Rollins for only? Well, kind of. Uh, and the reason I say kind of is that whoever has SAU 56 has what's there. Okay, that they operate that that office. If it's if there's any kind of separation, you'd have to look at the assets and divide up the assets. And, but that really shouldn't be that difficult with the entity that you have. The reason I say kind of is that. If, if Summersworth were to keep SAU 56, I would envision that that office is going to look very similar to what it is right now. If Rollinsford, if, if Summersworth pulls out and Rollinsford is SAU 56, um, SAU 56 office is going to look very different. It's probably not going to be in that building. It's not going to be staffed the same way. It's, you know, it's, it's going to be very, very different. Um, and then SAU 125 or whatever it is uh, for Summersworth would probably look what, like SAU 56 does now. Um, but the staff would be, except for me, would be free agents. Um, at the end of next year, they're under contract through the end of next year. At that point in time, um, the staff could go anywhere they want. So if, if Summersworth decides to pull out, couldn't Rollinsford also disband it and then there would be no SA-56 and Rollinsford would be on its own to contract with whatever? Because it's unlikely Rollinsford would. Well, you, you would be, if, if, if Summersworth pulls out, Rollinsford is SA-56. What that looks like is going to be very, very different. I understand that. So, but and you could also make the decision to contract the services if you choose to. So then you just get, you just keep the name and number, right? You don't necessarily keep the whole operation. Well, no, you wouldn't keep the whole operation. I guess I would have to ask the, the uh, Department of Ed what that would look like with SAU 56. But you still have the option of contracting those services. Why wouldn't the whole SAU be? It might be if you contract the service. It's not a first to the finish line. Like it's not whoever says I withdraw first gets to withdraw, right? I mean, because to your point, we both say we're going to stay. We both say, we say we're going to stay. We both say we're going to leave. Well, the interesting part is, let's say that that Summersworth pulls out. So they're that's a U one twenty five. Rollinsford decides, well, we're pulling out. And so you do, so you're SAU 124, 126, and SAU 56 is no longer. It doesn't really change anything. I mean, you're just looking at a number. Right, but I would think that the scenario would be more that if Rollins, for, if they both pull out Rollins for the contract services and probably not be an SAU, they would be part of another SAU process. Perhaps. Maybe. Maybe. Well, that's the difference, right? Is you have to be an SAU, right? No, you have to you receive are. services. You have to receive services, okay. Well, with regard to the SAU staff, I've always looked at it from a job description perspective. There are job descriptions for each and every person within the SAU. And if we pulled out at Summersworth, those job descriptions wouldn't necessarily line up with what? We folks would want to have versus if we pulled out and set up, that would have to be redone. Uh, right. I mean, it, 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 because of the size, Summersworth is going to need that office pretty much like it sits. Yeah. Because of the size, Rollinsworth by itself does not need that office the way it sits. If I met it too, we can be assured that Rollinsworth. If we both choose to leave, or one does, that building where the SAU is, they'll be in the picture. If Rolf is not going to get it for free, the SAU 56 is not charged any money because of a sale of a prior building. Politics being what it is, they'll say, well, no one's staying there for free. So. The building is owned by 
Yes. Yeah. Would you suggest that community on the hook for the remainder of your contract? How does that work? Um, so yes. Summersworth withdraw withdraws and Rollinsburg is SAU 56 and the contract stands. I have a contract with SAU 56. Got it. Would that would be, that would be no. tough. Right. And the rest of the staff is I'm the only one year to year. I'm the only one with a three-year contract. Exactly. Okay, but you'd only be working for the remarkable district. Correct. Right. 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 Yeah, the, the thing that bothers me on all of this is that 
I don't mind spending money, but I hate spending it in a foolish way. Yeah. And I think overall, for both towns, this is a foolish spending of money. Right. We're going to hire lawyers. Yep. They're going to hire right. lawyers. And, that's what makes and the money. only people who are going to make any money on this are the lawyers. And we're all going to have a very disruptive summer trying to work all this out in the best interest of the town. And like I said, my page is blank. I don't yeah. understand what the other than, you know. All I hear them gripe about. I, they were griping about last last meeting was oh you have too many members yeah. and well if only one Summersworth person shows up yeah. all of Rollinsford does well that's how is that our problem I don't see and it has never happened you so it's have your own once. I went school through the last people that, that can show up I went through the last three years of SAU right. member exactly. meeting minutes yeah. and there was one time in the past three years that Rollinsford has had more people and they had five yeah. people missing. Five right. or six people. So it's not to Joe's point about exactly. the analytics. Yeah, there, there's been one problem, one one kind. And even in that time, happened. did somebody get put something get pushed through that right. right. wouldn't have happened if everybody no. knew? And right. So do we need representation at the SAU level? Is that important to us? Well, I think by law it says by law. By law, now. if we say it, say it. Yeah. So, right. Okay, so if yeah. we contract, we have no say. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. If we say an SAU, SAU any school board grounds for makes has to go to this part of the SAU. So if we have, I just want to understand, we have five school board members in Rollins, right. therefore we have five on the, right. yes. on and they have nine. Therefore. They have right, and we can't reduce, unless right. we no. reduce the five at home. Correct. And they have a point of even if we reduce it. No. I just want them to do it. A three-person yeah. board. No, no. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. Also, there's just too much work, even for yeah. a five-person board. Yes. Right. It's just right. not. And you do it right. So, right. to me, is our basic proposal is to say, well, look, we have to go back and we have to decide whether what we we're going to withdraw or contract yeah. with them. And when we contract, just from a due diligence standpoint, we can't just say, no. somewhere's no. worth, do what you want. So, right. they, and this is the stupidity of it, is that they run the risk of losing it 200 grand. Right, you know, what's I think, the that, I, I think you're exactly right, Joe. I, I think um, what I'm hearing clearly from them is that they, they certainly don't want status quo. I think, I think so. The, our best bet is to withdraw mm -hmm. and, and to, I believe, our best bet, and because we can always change that, is to contract. Yeah. And that we should spend our energies over the next, <laughs> next month or two laying out what we want in a contract. Right. Yeah. And then, and then, and then shopping it around. And, and getting out. Yeah, and shopping. Exactly. Yep. Yes. yes. Yep. We're, we're not going to commit that it be with Summersworth, but that we will have a con. We will have. We will hire a lawyer. We put money in our budget this year so yes. that we can do that. Yes. We'll hire a lawyer. We'll come up with the contract we would like. Mm -hmm. okay. And and we'll shop it around. Yeah. Right. And so that we'll have much more to put in at the end. Yeah. Now that that's that's where I think we're going, but it's really this committee that has to make no, that decision. Any questions here? Sounds like the I'm hearing from. I forget the teacher that came to the last round for Oh, for selection? Yes, but it, so it seemed very clear to me that as a teacher, she would want it sounded like contracted services, not our own SAU, because right. I feel like it's, it's easier for a teacher to go to a Dover yeah. and say, I need to change my payroll stub yeah. and direct deposit. Like, if you have a part time person doing that, that's a yeah, I, I, so I think, I think it's better, better for yeah. teachers. I think contract services. Yeah. It, and we can see how it, the beauty of contract services to me is that we can always change our mind. Right, right. Yeah, wrap them up. Yeah. But yeah. I, the only thing that concerns me is to, Erin, yeah. I think, with, or maybe you said, Jen, the, is, it, is it the first to the finish line about who yeah. withdraws? Right. No, 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 because I, I, I believe they, really they, I think they will be yeah. pleased if we choose to withdraw. I think so too. Yeah, I say you feel. SAU 56 started out okay. as Oyster River, so, so Dover, Madbury, Lee, uh, Rollinsworth, Summersworth, and I believe there was one other, there might have been one other in there too, and, and now it is down to Summersworth and Rollinsworth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. and, and unfortunately they are under, or at least some city council members and perhaps the mayor are under misconceptions that, that for some reason we have a lot of say in what happens. Because well, we have none. And they seem to None. misunderstand, at least maybe I'm misunderstanding what Bob is saying, but we don't have say in their schools. So we I no really don't understand thing. what their beef is. No, Bob is saying the same thing. I, no. Right? And like the school board members seem to not understand that no, themselves. Which is, 
I, I think what I think a contract piece, the piece that is, it, you know, if we do it like a, like you know how a lawyer bills by the hour. I think the piece that I think we can put it together first and then talk to us. Right, but yeah. I don't know that that would be most advantageous to us like that. It'd be better if it was just, you know, we want services. We want because the expensive service is going to be the special ed piece because that involves laws and things. No. No, it, 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 the superintendent will, will cost more than, than, than the special ed director. Right, so, but, but that, that's what the teacher is going to probably be calling more about than the payroll. I, I, oh, I see what you're saying. It'll be more hours. Yes. It, that's very possible. Okay, yes. so we're coming back oh, at 6.15. Yeah. 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 Do we want to basically say to them, well, this was a useful thing to get everybody to talk to yeah. about, and, but I think we have to come back and it's proceed with our... Discussions, which have been good, that so, and so again, if, if Jen feels that we should say this, and all of us feel we should say this, um, but it looks like you know we're, we 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 are. It looks like the best position for both communities would be if we for withdrawals. Yeah, right. and then we're going to go and make a decision and about that. We need state what we requirements next. for right. having right. SAU right. services right. to the top. Yeah. 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 It's unfortunate it's coming. It is. Yeah. And I bit my tongue. She's not reading because I I, I'm still not getting a, you know, an answer to your question. So, well, and it, it's, it's <laughs> probably an emotional answer, and you, you're not going to get bullets for right. emotional right. questions. Right, right. Well, we're on with the little unicorns. Yeah. You know? Well, <laughs> Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
any time. Yeah. Like, how? Yeah, well, yeah. I know. I'm already booked to D-Day. Sorry. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> um, how about tomorrow when it goes 24 hours? Amongst ourselves, right? Yeah, the library. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Brian's ill. Oh, Brian's not feeling well tonight, right? Um, but we're sure we could meet there. But um, and, and the other question is, do we want to meet with Bob or without Bob? I mean, he is he's he's like an ex officio member. I think we he has to be invited. In direction. And um, it certainly wouldn't hurt to have him. Yeah, right? so they sort of established so, the elephant to the room with the contract. Yeah. So, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. So why don't so why don't we do we want to wait then and come up with a meeting date after after we do this and yeah yeah, yeah. Well, I just I, I'd like to get something because I don't no no well we can right. talk about right. it. Right. Yes. Yes. and you yeah. have to hire an attorney and yes I yes I do have some opinions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Like, you know, it's funny, before I came here, I was looking through the RSA's findings, right, because it just seemed to be such I a... I found it, it said that it was a mistake. That's what I was doing. And then it's steak. Oh, you're oh, 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 yeah. All right, welcome back, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Would anybody care to start? So the summer's worth caucus. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, uh, we chatted, and, and we are very reasonably convinced that uh, barring uh, there is no belief that the Summersworth City Council would vote to keep things the way they are now. So I think that's just very clear. So the options are one of the two communities withdraws from the city of 56. Um, our caucus believes that it's in the best interest of both communities from a financial perspective if Rawls would withdraw and then contract its services. Ideally, we would like to have some representation. The law apparently doesn't allow for that. So, but we're certainly, as a group, very open to the liaison uh, position to still have a voice. And the other thing is that we are also open to, again, that's a negotiation for a later time, but very open to a different cost point for that contract service. What that is, we can talk about. But something different than what the state formula suggests. Okay. So thank you for the extra time. The moms have also had a good conversation. Um, we feel like the past couple of meetings have been productive. We've spoken quite a bit about things. Um, and agree with you from the sense that it does make sense for Romans to pursue the withdrawal option um, from SAE 56. Um, that said, we do not necessarily believe or it is a given that we will contract that or pursue the contract back with Summersworth um, because it's in the best interest of our town to figure out what we need um, and then see who can provide those best services for our town. So based on that, we're going, we'd like to propose that we go back to our, our individual committees within our towns and work um, to really work to provide the best services for our, our town and our children. So um, we definitely appreciate the time and the conversations with you guys. We will need the link back up. I think it does, it doesn't change the fact that it makes sense for us as the current members of SAE 56 to go back to the Board of Education at the state level with agreed upon paths forward, right, to have that, that conversation and obviously you know, our blue um, <laughs> to help us, uh, you know, bridge the two two groups. So I don't know if I've missed anything from the volunteer perspective. You're going to ask some of the folks to jump into it. No. So thank you. Anybody else? Well, hopefully it makes it clear.
clear of which community so, so we're so we're not still wall over here. Right. So we we still we got a path. I, th I think we clearly got the message. Hmm. Um, thank you for stating it so clearly that that it looks like um, some of us are not interested in status quo. And, uh, and so it, we agree with this. Again, just a chance that it's best for Rollins for it to be the party to it. Now, a couple of things come to mind. Um, both committees are, um, I believe, still required to have your community forums. So uh, we need to think about setting those up. So what we might want to do is each committee individually having a meeting so you can have a discussion on where you go next and when you're setting up the community forums and so on, and then we can get the community forums done uh, and in the meantime, obviously, Rollinsford has some other things to discuss there as well about contracting the services out. Uh, so uh, it, does that seem reasonable to, to set up a individual committee meetings now and then, and then kind of take your next step? Well, I was going to suggest that, that we need to, do we need to take a formal vote as a committee to do as we just articulated? Probably. And then bring that forward to that public well, I think as an individual board, I think uh, I think probably the other way around. Mm -hmm. I think you probably ought to have the community forum oh, gain, gain feedback, okay. and then after the community forum, then each individual committee will select a, a direction, if you will, and finalize that. I mean, I know you've kind of got an idea on on what you want to do, but remember, you should get some community feedback on that as well. That's quite cool. Yeah, I think we have more information to gather from our perspective before we're ready to have a thoughtful conversation with the, the town. Um, we'll continue to do our outreach like we did a couple weeks ago at our ice cream social um, and other points. But um, I think we need to figure out what are the predecessors to be able to have a, a, a community forum um, sooner rather than later. Yeah, I think that I, I would suggest that both committees establish a, the, your next meeting within the next, you know, couple weeks, uh, just to pick the next schedule your community forum, get any last information that you might need, uh, and set up a time frame. Well, we have all the information. I believe we do, right? Well, well, anyway, we still need to meet. Yeah. Well, it's. Uh, I'm glad you said what you said because in in. in the way things have been going, we've presented what's best for Summersworth, and you're presenting what's best for Rollinsford. And it would, and we've always, we've been saying, you know, Summersworth, stay as it is, you withdraw, and you contract with us. And it's always been in the back of my mind that well, there's no guarantee that you would contract with us. That part of your process would be to look where you could go. And you know, in in our conversation, it was pretty it was pretty clear that I mean I've said that I, I would like to keep the state state formula, but you know there were other minds in our committee, so there's room there. And, and frankly, I, I think if you do that, somewhere along the line we got to if that's the only thing that separates us, somewhere along the line we got to come back with a number, just as the other people that you talk to would have to come back with a number. Right. Before you make a final decision, well, that's what sure. I was saying. I mean, that, that's that would that would be up to you. Right. I mean, I think you would do a disservice to your community if you didn't have everybody's numbers. But Summersworth wants to be the economist, so I don't know that you know what would happen. Well, yeah, would the if you chose, yeah. Would the contract be any different yeah. than having the current situation right. that we have? Right. They want to be autonomous, so that sounds like they don't want. Another, a, a, like a burden almost. Autonomy is the decision making process, which you would be, unless you got another SAU to absorb you in and make you voting members, it would be the same situation everywhere. Whatever, that's, whatever that SAU is would still have their own autonomy. But they would, but and the state formula isn't going to change, no matter what community you go to. Right. State formula. We wouldn't vote. Yes, yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs> the formula changes we are, based we are on the numbers. We're students of, of the total number of students. Yeah. Okay. So I got, yeah, I got you. The number yeah. changes. The yeah, formula doesn't change, but the numbers. Right. The numbers. Yeah. What would change for us is if 
we got into a negotiation of a specific price other than the formula. That's where you could get some sort of a deal one way or the other. Like I said, I, I'm being a thick I'm not sure what the definition of autonomy is, nor what issue over the past 10, 15 years would have been resolved differently if we were contracting with this. I mean, again, I'm coming back, we're trying to solve a problem that's maybe more emotional than anything else. But, you know, we can go spend money on lawyers, but I'm not sure when all this is said and done, what's, what's going to be the advantages to both towns?
forum, uh, I think that either committee is, should be ready to make a decision on that. And we can get it, we can get the plans done, written into the state department by hopefully the end of September and be all set on, online. Yes? Do both towns present at the community forum or they're independent? Uh, that's up to the committees. The, the thing that needs to happen is each committee needs a, a community forum in their own community and in the other community. Okay. Oh, okay. We're going to have one in Rolf? Yes. <laughs> we got to go to Rolf? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I know the way. <laughs> 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 we can get some sort of decision. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. So I don't know. It's the real slot. Whatever decision you make affects Rollinsford. Right. Whatever right. Rollinsford makes affects Summersburg. So you, you need to have a community forum. You need. Now, if you decide to do them at the same time or do them back to back or split them up, or, you, know, you certainly could do that. Well, then, it's if, if, if we didn't meet next week as the summers went through, the week of July 1 is probably out. So you're probably talking the week of July. Well, that's why I see that. I'm good with next week, but then again, I don't, you know, want to play. I can do next week. That's with the exception of the 24th. I am not, other than uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, I'm at a conference. But you are available on Monday, Tuesday. No, that's no exactly. I'm, I'm at a conference next week, okay. Monday, Tuesday. <coughs> End of the year superintendent's yeah. conference. So it looks like you know, yeah, we, we have the joint building committee on Tuesday. So it's probably that week of the 8th of July. Wednesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, I can do that. No, I can do it. Yeah, so let's do um, wait a minute. I, what? Do not lean on me. Uh, I will do my best to get the Yeah, I could do that. I just, I'm thinking of posting it in 24 hours to post it, so I can get it posted. That's why we're not doing it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, are you open that week of July 8th? You sure? I have no availability yes. for August, so. So twenty. Open the Five thirty. Yes, five thirty. Oh, you did one I mean, if I had to give up a call, I'd rather give up twenty seven. I can do the twenty seven. Can you take care of the library, and I'll take care of the post? Twenty seven. Yep. Thank you. Nancy and Charlie hear that? Okay. <laughs> Want to make sure There's we get our film crew there. <laughs> okay. I, my I room twenty seventh. You know, six uh, or five thirty. Six would hold more promise for me. Twenty six? No. It's six o'clock. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that works for me. I don't. I mean, well, five thirty to six. I'll be walking on July June twenty seventh. Thursday June twenty seventh. Six p.m. Six. Do you want me to take you to dinner somewhere? Or? Oh, sure. Let's <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. I will group will be at the SAU. The, the, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's where we're adjourning. Oh,